What's up guys, Bodhi here from BodhiDavison.com. In today's video, we're gonna go over a Redbubble tutorial, how you can make money with Redbubble in 2021 by following these simple steps. I'm gonna show you how you can find the best selling products and how you can get design ideas and make your own designs and start selling on Redbubble today. If you're new to the channel, I like to talk about print on demand and making money online. So make sure you check out the channel. There's the print on demand playlist, the Teespring tutorial playlist, and I also have links down below to the free Facebook group. Make sure you join that also. Please make sure to give the video a like for me, comment down below any questions or comments you have, and make sure you hit subscribe. All right guys, so here we are on the Redbubble homepage. We're gonna do Redbubble tutorial, how to make money with Redbubble. What you wanna pay attention to is a few things. I wanna teach you a few things today. We're gonna to go clothing. And you can come down and see that they do break it down into different categories here. Uh, today's one, you should definitely check all these out and see what's selling in each one. But uh, we'll go t-shirts and tops. Okay, first thing I wanted to show you today is different things that you should look out for in Redbubble and pay attention to. So as you can see here, Redbubble has this shop by theme. This is something you should pay attention to here. This is what Redbubble is saying are the most popular things on their site. Otherwise, why wouldn't they have different themes here? So you've got music, movies, sports, games, funny, vintage, cool, and animals. So if we click on animals, and by the way, we know that all of these are popular categories. Anyone would know that. So music, movies, a lot of copyright things in that. So you gotta be very careful. Um, sports also very, copyright heavy you got to be very careful with that one as well games funny vintage cool and animals we know that funny is a very popular niche lots and lots of people know that funny shirts sell and the reason they sell is because they're very you know you can tag your friend and then you want to share it because it's funny and you would like to wear the shirt because it's funny they're definitely just it's just a definite good niche that sells well year round you've just got to be able to get into it and um be consistent with it to make money with it. So let's just go see all animal t-shirts. I wanna show you something else. So we've got t-shirts, animals, and we'll click this to best selling. Okay, the next thing that I wanted to show you is, we know that we came from all of these here, and then we've gone into animals. What it's showing you now is different sub niches or niches within a niche. And then from there it goes into other sub niches, but I just want to show you. So dog, cat, horse, bear, shark, giraffe, fox, octopus, panda, elephant, wolf. These are some of the main ones that it's gonna show up that Redbubble has put this here themselves. So they're telling you that these are popular categories within the animal t-shirts. Of course, dog and cat are near the front, it makes sense. If we scroll down when we're on best selling, let's see what pops up. So we got cat shirts straight away. There's a lot of cat shirts on Redbubble, a lot of cat designs. You got another cat one, you got a monkey there, you've got a fox there, bear, octopus, shark, bear, and you got a panda there, you have an octopus. Octopus seems like a weird niche, but people are into different things, guys. It doesn't matter what you're into, it, it matters what sells, really. So we've got shark, we've got wolves there, and you guys kind of get the point. This is telling you what's best selling and then up the top it's telling you the most popular categories or categories that Redbubble wants to show you because they're obviously popular. So definite things to pay attention to. If we were to click into dog, the next thing you want to see, this is what you would call a sub niche. So you've got specific dog breeds here. So you've got Labrador, which is one of the most popular dog breeds in the world. Pug, puppies, which is, it's kind of a sub niche, but you could go into certain puppies like Labrador puppies, etc. Pitbull, which we all know is one of the best selling sort of dog designs you can get. Poodle, Corgi, and Dachshund. So this again is Redbubble telling you this, these are the most popular sub niches for dog. So these are very important things to pay attention to guys, because you're gonna be able to find out what's selling on Redbubble, because Redbubble's literally telling you with all these different tabs here so the next thing to pay attention to is how many shirts are there so in all of dog t-shirts there's 745,000 results which actually isn't that like too over the top because most of them can be a million plus and that's going to be very hard to compete in not impossible but definitely hard so let's say pug like let's have a look at this and see how much it breaks down so you've only got 62,536 results which isn't too bad 
you can see this design which was done on best cat dad ever on the main page back there they've done it as best pug dad ever and it's probably the exact same person that is not a hard design to make that's very easy design to make uh pug tato that'd be very easy to make as well so a lot of these designs not that hard to make at all some of these are kind of using a bit of Star Wars here. I wouldn't mess with that. It's completely up to you guys. Again, this is messing with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I don't recommend doing things that are gonna get you copyrighted, guys. So you kind of get the point. Let's go back to the main page here and then let's click on Vintage and go See All. And you'll see what I was talking about pops up again. You've got Vintage, Retro, Classic, Pattern, Birthday, Summer, Colorful, Abstract, Black, Trendy, Old, and a few others down there. In vintage t-shirts, you've got 1,560,000. Let's click on something like retro though, and that's still very high. How about we go pattern, still very high. So these are very popular ones. You can see other things popping up as we click on each of these. These are gonna keep giving you different niches, uh, niche ideas that you guys can get into. So that's why I want to make this video and show you. This is showing you a lot of different things that you can get into. So there's even a niche for bright pink t-shirts. So there's just so many different ones that you can get into. Just dive into it, go down the rabbit hole and see what you find. Next one we'll click on is sports and we'll go see all. Again, with sports, you gotta be very careful. You don't wanna get done for copyright. There's gonna be copyright infringements all over here. Um, it doesn't mean, just because someone else is doing it, it doesn't mean it's the right thing to do. But uh, it, at the end of the day, it's up to you. But just be aware that you have been warned, you can get in trouble for doing copyright designs. Now, as you can see again, it's given you sub niches or niche categories within the sports niche. And you can dive into these even further. So one more, if we were to go horse, because that seems very specific, you can see that this is uh, on the lower side. So it could be something that could easily be competed with. And then if you were to really uh, niche it down into the sub niche, let's go equestrian because that's very sub niche. You can see there's only 22,338 results. So definitely something you could get into. Maybe horses are your niche. Maybe you know all the sayings all the brands, all the different things to do with that niche. So you could be very competitive and very passionate about this niche. Definitely something to dive into if that's you. The other side of this is when it's got lower results, you just got to make sure there's actually a lot of people that are interested in it. But I know there's a lot of horse people around the world. I know some horse people myself, so definitely people out there that are into horses. Next thing I want to show you guys today is um, just Redbubble's ranking on SimilarWeb. So SimilarWeb is a website that you can put in any other website and it'll tell you all the traffic metrics and things like that for it and a rank around the world. The main thing that I wanted to show you guys is two things on here. One is that Redbubble gets 28 million visits a month. So that is a huge amount of traffic and people that would be interested in going through and let's say they're into horses, horse t-shirts, definitely checking out those. So Redbubble isn't specifically only about merch, but you can sell shirts on there and hoodies and stuff and there's a lot of traffic, 28 million people a month. So you can also see here in December, which is around Christmas time, that goes all the way up to 40 million visits a month. So around Christmas, there's a lot of people that are gonna be on your Redbubble store looking for different niches and different shirts. Like if you're making them Christmas shirts, you can be very competitive on there and there's definitely money to be made. The next thing I want to show you is some interesting info down here. Now this is a big one as well and I talk about this a lot when I make Teespring uh, videos and that's about having an Instagram and also in this case a Pinterest to be able to drive traffic to your store. So you can see that Pinterest drives a lot of traffic, 32%. And if we were to go to Pinterest and then just put in, um, let's go horse t-shirt. Now what we're gonna see here is if we go onto a few of these, yeah, here's one here straight away. You can see there's plenty of people that are posting their shirts on here with a link to their Redbubble store. So if we click through that, then that brings you straight to their store and then they're gonna have other different things on their store as well for sale to do with horses or whatever else. People are all of a sudden on their store and looking at it. 
The point being, this is a huge traffic source for your Redbubble store. You can use an Instagram page, which is niche specific as well. So either to do with horses or whatever niche you're into. And you can see that um, lots of people use Redbubble. So here's another one over here. That's probably the same one actually. But I guarantee we find another one any second that is also a link to Redbubble. And as you can see, there's another one down here, which is a link to Redbubble. So lots of people use this traffic source because Pinterest gets a lot of traffic as well. As a matter of fact, let's look up how much traffic Pinterest gets. So all you need to do to use SimilarWeb is punch in the website and I'm guessing this traffic source will be massive. Look at that guys, 1.18 billion visitors a month. So if you're posting regularly on here and people are creating boards and things like that and pinning your designs, this is a massive traffic source that then also goes over to your, let's say it's your horse t-shirt designs or whatever else. That's a huge amount of traffic, 1.18 billion visits a month, guys. So that's why I always say, create an Instagram to do of your niche, create a Pinterest to do of your niche and drive traffic to your store by regularly uh, uploading onto these different websites like Pinterest and Instagram. It's just more traffic sources to go to your store and check it out. So that's really it for today's video, guys. Just wanted to show you all these different things that Redbubble is putting in front of you that people don't pay attention to. Pay attention to these lower numbers. When they're lower, that means you can be competitive. You don't want it to be too low, but if it's under a million, that's gonna benefit you because obviously you can get in there and start selling stuff as well. This is just to do with t-shirts, but you can check out stickers as well. I made a video just last week about the opportunity with selling stickers on Redbubble. You can check that one out as well on my channel. But yeah, something to be aware of is when you've got Pinterest getting 1 billion or 1.18 billion visits a month, then you can drive traffic to Redbubble, which is getting 20 million visits a month. That's a lot of traffic that will be able to look at your designs and buy your shirts. So that's it for today's video, guys. I hope this helped you out. If it did, please give the video a like for me. It helps me out. Please comment down below any questions or comments you have and make sure you hit subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.